and welcome back to Star Trip Mass Effect. I'm your host, Frosty8536, and at the moment we are still near Ilium. Okay, so we're going to be <laughs> so what we're going to be doing now is going back down to Ilium to fetch Samara. Um, looks like the second last it's only for the second last last person on my dossier and then the last one is still open maybe we'll have an extra character that is um, going to prove very important who knows So I think for this one we will choose Kazumi and Should I put in Zaid for this one? Or should we change it up and put maybe Garrus? Okay, Morden and Grunt. I like that. Haven't used them yet for for any fights and they definitely need to prove themselves, so we'll go for that. So I don't know if you guys can hear signals going off or messages going off, but um, just so that you know, I've opened a Discord for myself and um, currently playing an online, I don't know if you can call it an online game, but it's more of a simulator um, called Tabletop Simulator, and I'm being involved in um, a D&D campaign for the past few months and I must admit it's it's really an interesting experience like you know it, the simulator shows like what what things could be but it still takes a level of imagination that um, that is usually taken away when when you have an RPG game such as Mass Effect or Final Fantasy so maybe it'll be a good thing to ask you guys in the comment section. Leave your comments and, and say which you prefer. More imagination, such as D&D based type of type of stuff? Or do you like this kind of, um, you know, I use the term loose, lo very loosely now, but like the, the babyish assistance that, um, that computer games give us these days. We don't really have to imagine our character that much. Um, yeah, you do get RPGs that give you some kind of freedom, but still, it's um, uh, it's still not as um, liberating as as using your imagination, throwing dice, and letting the luck of the draw sort you out. Excuse me, you know where I can find Serena? Hmm. She's not here anymore. Oh, you're the one she was helping out. She took a job off-world. Didn't say where. She gave me something for you. Looks like a message. You didn't say anything else? She just gave me that and left. Not even a goodbye. Interesting. Hey, Shepard. I was on my way to a new life when the new burst arrived. The bitch is dead. I assume that means your friend is alive and he finished his job. Tell him if I ever see him, I'll buy him a drink. Hmm. Interesting side. Now, while I'm recording this, just so that you know, it is bloody cold. So I've I got my hot chocolate infused Jacob's coffee. And I'm just chilling out and doing a voiceover, and I think it's nice doing a voiceover like this because it's less Trust stressful me, and all of that. Coming in from the terminus systems are great Whoa. for business. I don't know. Some of them seem dangerous. That's the whole point. Danger means more contract work hmm, for us. I think we can hack now. Okay, I think this is the job that. Um, we were given so it'll be interesting to to see how far we can get and what is at the end you know help Liara out there we go that one 
was quite close. Now we need to find it. No, I haven't had any luck yet. She ah. insists it was legal. I don't know. So the tick tocking and have a friend examine the contract. Ah, it's close by. There we go. Success. So next one looks like we need to hack Welcome this to one. Maria Frontiers. No, Our talk. sales kiosk is over there. Hmm. Star charts. Interesting. So we have new locations that we can visit. I like that. Okay, let's look at the next one to to heck oh shepherd i well now i don't suppose you'd remember me oh well, i do Shiala. we met on pharos during the geth attack saren had given me to the thorian creature as a slave and you killed it and saved me i promised to help zeus hope recover i'm actually here on ilium for just that purpose how is zeus hope doing we've done a lot of rebuilding we even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however, along with what was left of the Thorian. Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again, or did the Thorian somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zeus' hope. Hm. They actually seem to want to help us survive, and the Thorian is dead. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. I fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. Is there something I can do to help? I'd appreciate it. I've reached the limits of my diplomatic abilities, and I'd prefer not to start trouble. Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans, but... The medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. Hmm. That's why I'm here. Tell me more about the contract you signed for these scans. Barrier Frontiers was interested in our problem. They offered to perform medical scans and deliver treatment for next to nothing. I should have known it was too good to be true, but we were desperate. In the fine print, we apparently agreed to let them perform invasive follow-up procedures if they deem it valuable, which they have. Can they actually force these procedures on you? No, but they can declare us in breach of contract, which means we're responsible for the full price we would have paid normally. Zoo's hope just got back on its feet. There's no way we can afford that, Shepard. Wait a minute. Shiala, you were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue, like normal Asari. Those health problems, I said, were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. A few months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. I'm also having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontiers representative knows about the issue. Okay, let's have a chat to her. She should be, like, forthcoming. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. Why are you insisting on these tests? What use could they possibly be? Their use is not your concern. A legal binding contract was signed. Nothing else matters. All of you. Humans. Hmm. Salarios. Turians. You come to our planet, then complain that our laws don't suit you. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Perhaps we could work out different tests. Something that will work for both sides. 
If the colonists were not willing to abide by the terms of the contract, they should not have signed it. The onus is not upon me to accommodate them. So you'd be this harsh in your contract terms if these were Asari colonists? If they were Asari, they'd be dealing with problems unleashed by another race. Asari like my bondmate, who died when the Geth rebelled against the Quarians. Or hmm. my daughters, who died during the Geth attack on the Citadel. One worked in the embassy, the other was a greeter for the consort. Okay, there's some emotion beyond this. Come on, Paragon Shepherd. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Hmm. Why was your bondmate on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art. Said they had old souls. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people. Exploring new cultures. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I I'm not a... I didn't... Oh... Sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. Hmm, she did the right thing. Nice. Okay, let's go back and speak to our friend. Did you get the star charts? I'll just use her friend. Yeah. I had to deal with Arinia though. I feel like I need a shower. You did it. Hmm. I just got the revised contracts. Thank you. Shepard, you've saved Zeus' hope again. I don't think I could have. Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Mm -hmm. Isn't anything ever just fixed? You've got the power to make a difference, Shiala. Not everyone does. You're right. You gave us a chance by saving the colony. I can't let them down. I won't. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe some time when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not doing whatever you do. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Time for another hack. Can I help you with something? I'm, I'm looking not. for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem or... Did she kill somebody already? <laughs> Relax, I just need to speak with her. Good, Samara's the first Justicar I've seen on Ilium. If I'm lucky, things will stay peaceful. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Is Samara really that dangerous? If you follow the laws, you've got nothing to fear. And a Justicar would die without hesitation to protect the innocent. But their code orders them to stop lawbreakers, with lethal force in most cases. And everyone skirts the law somehow on Ilium. If someone tried to bribe her, she'd be obliged to gun them down as a matter of honor. I'm hoping mm. to avoid that. Why are you worried about other species coming into contact with her? If a Justicar kills an Asari, none of us questions it. But if she killed a human... Do you think the Alliance would understand her actions and respect her authority? You can't even figure out your own religions. It's a big diplomatic incident just waiting to happen. Tell me about the Justicars. They're a monastic order. They've given up their families and possessions to follow their code. Most of them are on some lifelong mission, but they'll always stop to deal with any injustice they encounter, which can be a problem. In some ways, they're a lot like the Spectres, undertaking personal missions. Spectres are authorized by the Council. Who do Justicars represent? What? That's like... I don't know a good human metaphor. They represent their code, our code. It's closer to a religious group than a legal branch. No law-abiding Asari would question a Justicar's orders. 
Nobody becomes a Justicar for personal gain. And they die before breaking their oaths. Hmm. I'm looking for Samara. Like I said, she's at the commercial spaceport. You can hail a cab at the pedestal on that balcony over there. Okay, cool. Now we get to find Samara. Okay, I think this time we'll take... No, we'll still take Morden and Grant. They haven't had any fight yet, so that should be good. Their loadout is fine. My loadout is good as well. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney for. Find me in the station if you need me. <laughs> yep, can't get away too quickly. Okay, let's look around. What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough, some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off of this world. Has Samara actually done anything yet? The Asari say that Justicars are lethal in a fight. And if they so much as smell corruption, they start shooting. <laughs> The thing is, corruption isn't that hard to find around here. Tell me how to find the Justicar. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with her if you want to go there. Why do you think it was mercenaries? Dagny Kerr was cutting through a back alley last night when someone killed him with a shotgun. I saw his body this morning. They'd used modded rounds. That means Eclipse Mercs. You must know something about these Eclipse. Hmm. I occasionally do business with them. But only in well-lit places. With my guards. And only after the creds clear. This is a scummy bunch, even by Merc standards. Hmm. They sell red sand. All kinds of illegal items. And they are all cold-blooded killers. Why would these mercs kill him? And why do you think they're coming after you, too? I have no idea. We're innocent merchants. But they killed him, so they must be after me, too. <laughs> I have to work the happy and get out of here. You don't seem too broken up about your partner's death. Dagny Kerr knew the risks when he took to spacing. Right now, my worry is me. It's unhealthy to be a Volus in the Nosastra spaceport right now. Especially a Volus named Pitney Four. I should go. Which is your name. Crazy. Okay, let's speak to the officer in charge. Maybe she'll allow us to get through. Okay. I wanted to be a Justicar when I was young. Every Asari does, I guess. Not that one. Oh, where is she? Okay, good. Some credits, and that must be her. Let's go around. Maybe not. Let's look around here. Nope. Let's have a look. Nice guns. Try not to use them in my district. What can I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. I need to recruit Samara for my mission. 
Then we'll be on our way. Chestakars usually work alone, but they are drawn to impossible causes. Self-correcting policy. Fortunate in our case, of course. If you're getting her out of my district, I'll get you to her ASAP. She's mm -hmm. at the crime scene. You're letting her into a sealed crime scene? I'm a cop. I'll work with the Justicar all I can. Besides, she's been looking at crime scenes longer than our two lifespans combined. She knows how to handle herself. You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. But her Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. <laughs> Your superiors are sending you to certain death for no good reason. You have a right to disobey. Good to know, given number of times we're ordered into hazardous situations. Not often enough. <laughs> Most of the time, I'm not being stupid about it. I can't say the same for Anaya's superiors. I'm a cop and I know my duty. I've been ordered to detain her and I will. Unless I can get her to leave my district first. Samara would kill a cop? That doesn't sound very just. She would die defending an honest cop, but she'd fight an army of dirty cops to the death. I admire her dedication, but her presence is still a big problem. I need her yeah. gone before I have to carry out my orders. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. Okay, so we're gonna be... You mentioned a crime scene. So we're gonna be going Polis into a trap. Murdered. It was a professional a hit, so we're not dealing with junkies looking for a score. I'm thinking the local Eclipse mercenary Polkast. band. Can't prove it. But if the Volus was dirty too, maybe it's just a deal gone bad. What do I need to know about these mercenaries? Eclipse mercs are professional killers. They sell red sand, trade illegal weapons tech, and smuggle criminals off-world. They control some back alleys around here. I haven't been able to find their nest yet, though. What can you tell me about Justicars? They're a kind of... humans might call them warrior monks. They live by a complex code that compels them to punish the wicked and protect the pure. They've been a part of Asari culture for millennia. I read adventure stories about Justicars when I was a child. What do you think of Samara herself? She's been a Justicar longer than three of your lifespans. Whoever she was before she swore that oath, that person is dead. People seem nervous about Samara's presence. Asari admire Justicars. We also know that they kill without mercy when they find corruption. And Justicars never leave a sorry space. Why is she here? I doubt it's to investigate the murder of some corrupt Volas. I have to go. Good luck. We'd better find Samara before the detective goes after her. Uh -huh. Okay, so we're gonna be getting involved in a fight. Sounds natural. Anaya told us to let you through. Watch yourself. There's Merc activity back here. We're waiting on backup. Let's go for it. Okay, so we have some Eclipse Mercs that we need to take out. So we better be ready. They don't seem to be around. I think I have my handy dandy sniper rifle. Could definitely be useful. But our assault rifle might be even better. Get some more rounds. Okay, let's watch out. There we go. Gotcha. Come on, Grunt. Okay. 
nothing more than the psychopath doctor and grunt the fledgling Krogan. Definitely worth it. Okay, let's go through. Hmm. Ouch. Those were my best troops. Well, there we go. Tell me what I need to know, and I will be gone from here. Where did you send her? You think I'd betray her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. The name of the ship. Your life hangs on the answer, Lieutenant. You can kill me, but one of us will take you down, Justicar. What was the name of the ship she left on? Go to hell! Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. <laughs> My name is Samara, a servant of the Justicar Code. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed people before me. Are we friend or foe? That Merc was wounded and helpless. Do you just kill anyone who won't help you? If my cause is important enough, yes. Are you different? I've killed enemies, but always with good reason. I answer to a code that is clearly defined. If my actions are true to that code, I am just. If they are not, I am unjust. I don't pretend it is a simple matter, or that it seems right to everyone. But I sleep well at night, and that is more than most can say. How may I be of service to you? I'm going up against suicidal odds, and I need the best. That's you. I sense the truth in what you say, and it humbles me. But I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. I cornered hmm. her here, but the Eclipse sisters smuggled her off world. I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes cold. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. Uh, the human is lost here. Can one of you clarify? I was trying to convince her to leave with you, but just a car is in their code. The Detective has been ordered to detain me. I can't force her to disobey an order. Asari is stupid. Your code just means you kill her tomorrow instead of today. I am afraid so. There must be some way we can all get what we need. I see a way. While I am in custody, you find the name of that ship. Do that and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. Can you tell me more about Justicars? We are individuals who have forsworn family, children, and worldly possessions aside from some weapons and armor. We travel Asari space righting wrongs as defined by the ancient code we have each memorized. Ilium may be dominated by Asari, but it isn't in Asari space. My quarry fled to this place. I am sworn to hunt her down, and I will follow anywhere she goes. It is rare for a Justicar to leave Asari space. But I must follow my oath. If I suffer for it, I will accept that. A moment ago you refused to give up your investigation, but now you'll swear to follow me? If I stay, I will be compelled to kill many innocents to escape incarceration. Like me. I may be killed, and my quarry would be free to continue murdering. If I come with you and survive your mission, I can resume my investigation. To do that, I need the ship's name to track her to her next hiding place. It is a simple choice. Logical calculation. Slim odds, but possible. Better than impossible. This Justicar code seems quite strict. It may seem so to you, but this is my oath. The expedient path may be fast and simple. That does not make it the right path. Do you have any leads? The Volus merchant Pitney Four is tied to this. Eclipse marks are preparing to kill him. Get the truth out of him. He may know a way into the Eclipse base. Well, mm. I've got to get back to my station. And I guess I've got to take you with me. Thank you, Shepard.
Oh, must do the right thing. And there's our Volus friend. Hello again, Earth Clan. Did you speak to the detective? Why are the mercs after you? I know nothing about any mercenaries, Earth Clan. I'm merely an innocent merchant trying to make his way in life. The Eclipse are out for your blood. I need your help to break into their base. Shouldn't we work together? Yes. You're right, Earth Clan. I'm desperate. I've got angry mercs after me, and now this Asari Justicar. Let's talk. Hmm. I smuggled a chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. It also is toxic. I may have, um, forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse. <laughs> so they are perturbed and want to kill me. Tell me about this chemical you brought in. It's called Minogen X3. And it's very, very, um, illegal. Anyone with biotic powers who is exposed to it becomes more powerful. The higher your exposure, the more powerful you get. But too much of it, you die. That's the part that the Eclipse found disagreeable. Hmm. You've it's been like in taking the Eclipse a drug. Base. What do you remember? It's a series of docking bays where the Eclipse keep their private ships. They're well armed and they've got mechs. And they're all murderers. Every one of them kills someone as part of their initiation. It sounds like you're a swindler, and your actions finally caught up with you. True and true. But I haven't survived as a merchant this long without being able to tell when there's a deal in the making. You want something. The Eclipse recently smuggled someone off-world. I need the name of the ship she left on. I don't know about their people smuggling operations. They must keep records in their base. I do have a pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. Well, I, I had to return that one, but I happened to make a copy. <laughs> Take it, but be careful. Each Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. They are all dangerous. Oh well. Murderous psychopaths. Meet Commander Shepard. Okay, let's move our way then. It looks like we need to go through here. Let's do it. Okay, and then... What's the other thing that we need to do? Seriously? How odd. So it is over here. Okay, alright, alright. So you just have to put the code in over there. Okay. We're missing something. Oh well. Okay. So we now going down instead of up like we did with Thane. Better be careful. Oh! Gotcha. Okay, it looks like we're gonna be very careful. Weakening their integrity! Whoa! On the ground now! Very careful. Oh my word. Okay, we've got to get out of here. Okay, there we go. 
Except if we take out the Except if we take out the boxes we should be fine. Okay, we need to be very careful around these places. We're gonna have to go around. Especially in an area like this. It's sheeted quickly, it even makes a difference. Okay, never mind. On the ground now! Sorry, Eclipse. Should we shoot that away? Oh no, it looks like we're fine. Okay, let's be careful though. Okay, do we need to load out? I don't think so. Okay. Oh. More information. Shotgun. I like it. Use our resources to upgrade our shotguns next. Okay, let's see. Do we go through here? Let's find out who's here. Someone's definitely here, but who? Tended to because the other Eclipse sisters were watching, but I didn't really shoot. Whatever. Pretend to keep breathing. I'm not one of them. I knew. I thought being Elnor the mercenary would be cool, but I didn't know what they were really like. Of course. What do they do here that you don't like, Elnora? I thought we'd be flying around the galaxy shooting up bad guys and stuff, right? But no, they just sell red sand the and illegal weapons. The thrill of the fight. They even smuggled an Ardat Yakshi off-world. What does Ardat Yakshi mean? It's an ancient Asari word for something that... I thought was just a superstition until now. It means demon of the night winds. I didn't think they were real, but the boss said this scary lady was one. Hmm. <laughs> What do they do here that you don't like, Eldora? I thought we'd be flying around the galaxy shooting up bad guys and stuff, right? But no. They just sell red sand and illegal weapons tech. They even smuggled an Ardat Yakshi off-world. What ship did they use for the smuggling? Wow, I have no idea. It was a few days ago, and like I said, I'm new. They didn't tell me anything. Get out of here, Elnora. If you so much as jaywalk, I will find you. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Ardak Yachi. This might be useful. Sounds like uh, uh, the dark side of Asari. Who would have known that the Asari would have a dark side? Such as evil Asari. Just like Liara's mom as well. Okay, let's go through the door. Let's watch out. Okay, nothing yet. Let's be careful. Okay, don't see anything here. Shoot, 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 shoot. Shoot. Oh, shotguns would be quite nice for this close range. Let's be careful. Okay. Reloading. Oh. Oh, they got me at the back. Okay, looks like there's somebody Level else there. Forget which, doesn't matter. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? They're right there. I'll put them down. That's not gonna help. Okay, let's think about it. Okay, they're there. Okay, let's check it on the road. There we go. Headed for combat. 
stay out of the radius. I'll put them down. Come on, Grunt. Use your Krogan. Okay, let's wait. Okay, good. Shield up again. Let's go. Let's watch out for the gas. Yeah, good. It's another place here. Yeah. Good. Okay, we have to go upstairs. But let's move around here first. Okay, let's do some hacking. Maybe we can find something good. Good, good. Anything else over here? Oh, nothing. Okay. Good to get some credits though. Alright, so up we go. Oh, which way must we face? Nope, not that way. Must be this way. Sensors activated. There. Let's use the sniper. Got him. Right in the daddy button. Okay. Oh, here's another one. Okay, got him. Ooh, good shot. Good stuff. Who's next? Do some long distance. Okay, looks like we're going through over here. Another medikit. Nice. Okay, let's be careful. Okay, we've reloaded. So far, nothing special. Weapons free, Eclipse. Well, that's not going to help. There we go. Oh. Went for the target over there. Gotcha. Be careful, guys. Looks like those those crates over there. Oh. Another one. Looks like those crates are the ones containing this biotic gas. If that's what we can call it. As long as we keep ourselves medical and and get some other stuff, then it's good. It's very good. Okay, let's see. I see that there is another character coming up. Oh. Whoa. Gotcha. Okay, we're gonna have to be careful going up here. Okay. Last thing I want is. Yeah, right on your ass. Oh, there it is. What the hell is that? Subdue and suppress. Impact shot. Okay, so we need to find out where this this chopper is. Take it out. But first we must get rid of these other guys here. We can do it via Okay, they're gonna come down. 
Come here. Gotcha. Okay. It's nice to see that my sniper rifle has more bullets. Much more. It's not like one shot then I have to reload. Okay. Oh. I think I got him there. Looks like we're gonna have to go that way. Oh, I missed. Okay, so they are coming through that door at the back over there. We have unity. Why doesn't it? Why can't we use it? Okay, there we go. Oh, gotcha. Okay, headshot, good. Let's go, let's go. Oh. Gotcha. Okay, but it also looks like my my sniper rifle isn't that um, effective. But that's fine. Still usable. Still strong. Okay, so we're going down here. And now we have to be careful. There might be some reinforcements. There's always a chance of that. Well, it's official. Little baby Elnora is finally a full-fledged Eclipse Merc. I earned my uniform last night when I killed that ridiculous Bolas. What? A close exploding rounds. Blew the little bastard's suit wide open. <laughs> Shouldn't have released her. Figure that detective would want this. Hmm. That was a sucky decision on, on my part. But oh well. Okay, let's be careful. Let's check around the corner. Looks like there are a few. Oh. to go very very carefully hello kitty yeah and I have a cat as well that wants to come and check us out so let's be really careful to take out some of these mechs while we're here big fight in our hands it's going to include a chopper so let's make sure that we, we are heavily armed and ready so I don't like how this is going to this is going to pan out okay just in case and look, there we go got me right in the kisser looks like we're gonna have to do it again all right well if we do have the have the correct technique we just need to make sure we don't get a missile up our asses next time so let's go for it take it to the next level okay I know in the, lo the last time that we did this, we had a few, we had a few of those, those mechs. There's one, there's Just two, is there a third one? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Okay. All sorted. All done over there. Okay, let's take our pig gun out because we're definitely going to need it. 
Probably not. That's right. Now let's go. Let's make our gotcha, way. Mom. Here we go. There we go. Huh. So much for the, so much for the big boss. Okay, assault rifle. Let's check everything out over here. Maybe we can find some loot. Ah, it doesn't look like it. Ah. Some credits. And time to do some hacking. Good. Good. There we go. And there we go. We're in. Oh, let's be careful. This looks like a shipping manifest. Hmm. It shows the Pitney Four sold 2,000 units of Minigen X3 to the Eclipse. Along with 600 units of red sand. Not what Samara seeks, but proof that the Volus is a criminal. Valuable information to the Volus. We've got to keep moving. Okay, some credits. And what will we find behind door number three? Oh, look at that. Another Volus. Who's this guy? I am a biotic god. I think things, and they happen. Fear me, lesser creatures, for I am biotics made flesh. <laughs> you need help. You need help. You stand before the mightiest biotic ever. Looks like he's a yes. bit addicted. The Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying. But then I began to smell my greatness. Did he shit himself? They may laugh when I fall over. But they don't know what I know in my head. But I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me! <laughs> Are you part of Pitney Four's trade group? When I was mortal, I worked for Pitney. Poor soul is probably terrified that I have not returned. Don't think he's reported anything. Pitney picks up revenge upon his people. But first, the leader of these mercenaries is in the next room. I shall toss Wasaya about like a rag doll. Anyone. I will tear her apart. <laughs> My biotics are unstoppable. Wasaya will tear you apart. Are. Take a nap. You'll feel better. Are you mad? I'm unstoppable. Feasting on her biotic rich blood will be <laughs> And out he goes. But great wind. Biotic God. Mm. I'm. I. What was I saying? I'm tired. You may be right. Yes, I'm tired. Hold now. Say good night, Jeeves. Destroy the universe later. Useless. All right, Paragon points, upper level, and okay. Let's take a look here. Anything special? Okay, and here we go. 
perhaps a good thing to just save here. And here we go, final door. Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off world. Hmm. First a Justicar shows up. Now you. At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass. Whoa. I brought you. Yep, give her everything that she wants. Impact shot. She is definitely power hungry. Stay out of the red. Let's find her now. I'll put them down. Whoa. Okay, here we go. That shot. But where's she? Did we get Likely it? the ship name Samara requires. Huh. Well, there we go. Okay, do we get a crew manifesto? And the ship name? That the ship the oh. crazy Asari wanted to find? <laughs> Want to head back now or look around first? We've got time. Let's look around some more. Cool. Let's do that. Maybe we'll find something interesting. Some extra info. There we go. Where's the extra part? There we go. And finally, where is it? There we go. Okay. Nice information and credits. And why are you guys in front of me? You failed me, AI. Okay. Uh, nothing. Oh. Nope. Just the canisters of that red sand. Uh. Nothing in the corner over here. I think we're done. Or are we? Yep. Back to the spaceport. Let's go. Yep. Let's go and speak to Samara. She'll probably be very happy that we... We've got some information for her. Now she can join up with us. Just gotta get to her. And there's that Volus creep. We'll get to her now. We'll get to him now. Thank oh. you for removing the Eclipse threat, Earth Clan. It will take them months to rebuild their organization. Oh, I bet. Also, merely out of curiosity, when you were poking about, did you perhaps run across a shipping manifest that belongs to me? Hmm. You never know when something like this might come in handy. If it might change your mind, Earth Clan, returning that manifest would be very profitable for you. If you give it to the detective, her reward will be a pat on the back. I kind of like that. If you have something that'll encourage the Justicar to leave, show it to her. Hmm? I've got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too.
The Eclipse smuggled an Ardat Yakshi off world. She's who you're really after, isn't she? You continue to impress. Yes, I was here tracking the Ardat Yakshi. She is a dangerous criminal, and I will bring her to justice. After your mission is complete, of course. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. the code, I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. I never thought I'd see a Justicar swear on roof like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. I can see that this is a very important act, Samara. Thank you. Truly, the life of a Justicar can get lonely. I admit I am looking forward to serving with a company of honorable heroes. Shall we <clears throat> return to your ship? I need to speak to the detective. Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar. And you've just upped my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. Hey. That's what I do. I have proof that Eclipse killed the Volus merchant. Let's see what you got there. Interesting. But I can't verify it. It would be inadmissible. I vouch for Shepard and any evidence he brings forward. I accept the judgment of the Justicar. Thanks, Shepard. I wasn't sure about trusting a stranger, and a human at that. But you came through. It's a shame this Elnora escaped. But I'll get her. At least you put her on the run. Okay, enough with all the congratulations. I've still got a spiraling crime rate. Mm -hmm. I have proof that Pitney 4 smuggled in red sand and illegal weapons tech. I'll send in some officers to arrest him and his cohorts. This is a big help, Shepard. I can't do much to thank you, but we do have a small discretionary bounty fund. Take this. I can say what I do, what Shepard does. Okay, mission accomplished. My crew is nearly complete. And it's quite a hectic crew. Quite full. Anyway. I think we are going to the Normandy. Are we? Yep. Welcome to the Normandy, Samara. We've studied your profile extensively. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. Thank you. From an organization such as yours, that is high praise indeed. I've seen Samara's biotic powers at work. They're substantial. We still don't know what we're going to find when we hit the collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on deck three. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. <laughs> Not bad at all. And we've got a few upgrades as well. I like it. We're nearing a point where we actually have to um, do some loyalty missions, which is cool. I want all of them to, to be waiting for me, but let's speak to good old Joker. It's been a while since I've spoken I've to him. I've an appointment with Shaira in three months. I can't wait. We're flying cool. into the eye of the storm, and you're thinking about some Asari prostitute? Hey, watch it. It's not like that at all. Mm -hmm. So, Commander, even your Asari are trained killers? Get everyone at the same store or something? <laughs> I assume everything is going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Quite the Joker, Joker. 
Okay, let's see what my PA has to say. Everybody seems to be working quite hard. There is nothing more absolute than the oath of an Asari Justicar. We did well getting Samara on our side. She is so elegant and gorgeous. Very honorable. Too bad her manner is just so cold. Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Garrus received some news that put fire in his eyes. Maybe you should speak with him down in the main battery. Anything else, Commander? Cool. Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. I better go. Okay. <laughs> Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Okay. Let's see. I think I might still need to help Liara later, but let's not worry about her just yet. Hmm, Shadow Broker. Hmm. Interesting reading. Overlord. Okay, a few things that I need to do. But for now, let's speak to my big buddy, Garrus. What I like about this one is that if I want to um, save the lives of my crew, then one of the things I need to do is do loyalty missions, which gives us more of a narrative of where all my crew members are from. Because we, we, we've just recruited them, which is great, but there's nothing more to that. And there we go. The observation lounge. Looks peaceful. Nothing special. So let's speak to. Shepard. How are you? I've spent much of the last 400 years on my own. It is nice to have a colleague to chat with. I may be rusty at it, however. If you are patient, I would love to talk. How much do you know about our mission? I know that I've sworn an oath to follow you, and that you seek to destroy the Collectors. That is enough for me. You don't want to know why the Collectors need to be fought? When you live by a code that compels you to harsh action, you learn the dangers of curiosity. If I must kill a man because he has done wrong, do I really wish to know that he is a devoted father? Hmm. I'd like to hear more about the criminal you were chasing on Nos Astra. Wow. I hope you will understand if I wish to avoid this topic. It is deeply tied to my code and beliefs. You might say it is personal. I need to know if this will impact the mission. It will not. What do you think of Cerberus? I've heard rumors. But learned long ago to form my own impressions. There is too much room for interpretation in the opinions of others. True. Why were you willing to work for Cerberus when you didn't have first-hand knowledge? I work for you, Shepard. Our methods may be different, but our goals are not. Well said. I should get back to work. Yeah. It has been my pleasure, Commander. Alright, let's speak to Garrus. Let's see what's up his ass. Hmm. Turrets look good. Shepard, there we I'm go. glad you came by. I've got something. I may need your help. You remember Sidonis, the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. Oh, that's good. There's a specialist on the Citadel. Name's Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sedonis was seen with him. What happened? How did Sedonis betray your team? He tipped off the mercs. Told them where our base was. He drew me out with a false job. Then let the mercs hit my team. My men weren't prepared. They tried to hold them off. By the time I got back, there were only two survivors. They didn't last long. All ten of them 
dead. Because of him. What are you planning to do when you find him? You humans have a saying. An eye for an eye, a life for a life. He owes me ten lives, and I plan to collect. You sure that's how you want to play it? I'm sure. I don't need you to agree with me, but I'd like your help. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. Of course. But is it the way that you want want to deal with the Karras? Can you live with it? That's the important thing to find out. How may I help you, Commander? Anything special? I'll Nothing. see you later, Doctor. Commander. And life Access support to is... the AI core is restricted. Hmm. AI core is still restricted, that's fine. And up we go. To take two. Alright. Uh, your heart tardy. Hasn't said anything yet, so we'll wait. Okay. So, what will our first job be? That's the thing. What are we going to do? Are we going to look at Project Overlord first? Or are we going to do some loyal loyalty missions? So many things to do, so little time. Although... If we take a look at our journal... We can put some stuff up over here. Okay, cryo ammo. Nice. Nice. Okay. Ilium. We can still do this. So we need to hack. Still hack security on Ilium. We can do that next. Get that done. And then make our way. And then the other thing that we need to look at. Okay. Yes, when the elusive man needs to speak to us. It would be nice to hear his his advice on a few things, but that's fine. Just looking for there we go, Ilium. We're gonna step back and we're gonna try doing some of those hackings that Liara wants us to do wants us to do and then we can chat to her. And I think from there we'll end it. It is definitely over one hour's worth of um, information, but it was good that we um, that we had Samara and we so I think I'm gonna pair her off with Jack. They are biotic specialists, so it might actually be very good for my team to have them over there. Also, we can upgrade them from their levels. Okay, and then sources indicate you were in a warehouse recently. Huh. Did you by any chance forward a questionable shipping note to a Mr. Fax? It looked suspicious, so I passed it on. I'm a representative for Mr. Fax. He's very grateful to you. Please accept this as a gift for bringing the shipping irregularities to his attention. What happens to the shipping agent who is cheating Thax? That depends on how sincere her apology is, and how willing she is to correct a mistake. Do you want help finding the person who cheated Thax? Thank you, but that won't be necessary. Mr. Thax will be making a series of polite calls. Hopefully a confrontation will not be required. It was well, my pleasure. So too. Have a pleasant day. Crazy. Okay, so let's look around. Any kind of hacking system, any kind of hacking that we need to do. Uh, looks like the only way we're going to do it is over here. 
anything, anything, no, no, okay, oh, here we go, we can hack, 25. oh, where are Sell we going? At 25. No, 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 you're not hearing me, I want to buy it up, buy it <laughs> all up, come on, come on, give me something, lots of money here, soft people who'd make good victims, if I knew you were contemplating something illegal, I would be bound to stop you. <sighs> that would be interesting. Oh boy, maybe I... <laughs> maybe I should think twice about putting them together. The people here are asked to sacrifice their own convictions and beliefs in exchange for a soulless corporate identity. If this is the best you have, I'll make do. <sighs> But okay, you're we can, we can buy some more upgrades. Good. Good. Nice. Okay, good. Good buying materials. Okay. I think we can try and... In fact, I use this model at home, sir. Oh. Ugh. Check like if we've done all the hacking. Blast of the jellyfish stings. The Hanar Anti Defamation <laughs> Association claims that our portrayal of Blasto. Shepard, it's good to see you again. So, what can I do for you? How's your own work going? Everyone needs information, Shepard. You want to know why I don't drop everything to join you? I need to get that data. It should be about friendship or trust. Let me know when you have those terminals. Give me that, and I can talk to you. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there, if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. Okay, so there are definitely more later, than, Yara. than one terminal that I need to do, so let's get it done. Okay. Hello, Commander Shepard. Viara hmm. would be pleased to see you. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Hmm. Maybe the patronizing kind. Okay, there's a terminal over there. Uh, no, I don't want to look at the terminal here. Is it necessary to go down here? Okay, I don't think we'll be able to finish all of it here, so perhaps we will end it very what is it? soon. I'm in the middle of an important call. Maybe after I finishing speaking to this person. Is this the data you're looking for? The Corosa Generational Archive. You found it. Thank you. Oh, My whole family's happy. been worried. That data is irreplaceable. I didn't think I'd get it back from Nasana's corporate building. Why is well, this data guys. so important anyway? It's a genetic history. I think the while they're Corosa talking to family, each other, it's used for high level reproductive negotiations. It would be like a human pedigree, I suppose. With that, yeah. you're bargaining from a greatly weakened position. Losing this would have hurt my family for generations, maybe even destroyed it. Okay. Well, why are we going if through all these conversations? So why didn't you have backups? I just want to say thank we you, did. everybody, for your family support a computer virus and, and, your, and everything that you guys do. Um, please please a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell went crazy. Uh, for more Believe content like infinite infinite this and music redundancy. content as well. So uh, but until then, guys, sorry. take care of yourselves and each There's other. I hope it helps your family. You have no idea, human. I, I don't know who you are or how you got it, but thank you. Here, for your trouble. Blessings be upon you. You've certainly blessed us. Thank you.